Today I'm going to show you the Vever, or maybe it's Vever, Vevor. Regardless to how you pronounce the brand name, I'm going to show you this pole chainsaw. First of all, although this is a pole chainsaw, it is also a regular mini chainsaw. Let me show you how that works. This is the chainsaw. It's got a really short blade, but it's not for cutting down giant trees, of course. It comes with this long pole, but you can also remove it from the pole just by unlatching this lock and then making sure that this is unlatched right here. And then you can just wiggle it out of the mount and now you have a small handheld chainsaw, like so. And to use it, you need to then remove the battery from the base of the pole. And then there's a button here on the base that you can use to remove the battery, just like that. And now you can add this to the bottom of the chainsaw. And that's done easily just by doing that. And we have two on each side, one on this side and one on this side, a lock. So you just can, depending on how you're holding this, if you are right-handed, you could press it with your thumb on that side. If you're left-handed like me, you'll press it on this side. And once you press it, then you can pull the trigger which will start the chainsaw just like that all right so we're going to test this as a pole chainsaw so let me put it back on the pole just like that place put the little buckle down like that and then you need to put the battery back on the back sorry for the background noise somebody's building a house nearby and you just snap it in place right there now the battery let me take that back off a second the battery has a nice status LED here on the side. So you just press this little battery button and the little segments light up to show you how much charge you have left. Which, mine's fully charged. So let's put that back on here. Now it's in place. One more thing I wanna show you before we get started trying to cut some things is that the head of the chainsaw is adjustable. It's got this big orange button right here. You press it and it unlatches and it lets you bend the chainsaw like that. I'm not sure who would be cutting something in that orientation, but you can if you want. And it locks into different angles like you see here. All the way up to straight up and down. And last but not least, although this, uh, I'm not even sure that the, the camera will show, it's probably going above my head right here. I am five foot six and this is, it's taller than me right now, but it can go even taller because this pole has a lock right here that you can unlock and you can pull it out. It's kind of like spring loaded almost. Is that as far as it can go? I think so. So now it can be this big. Pretty long. So you can cut things that are way above your head. So get away bug. Let's get to cutting. <laughs> 